The probability experiment consists of rolling a eight-sided die and spinning the spinner shown at the right. The spinner is equally likely to land on each color. So look, we have four different colors. So the probability of landing on one color is 25%, right? So 0.25. What else? Use a tree diagram to find the probability of given event. Then tell whether the event can be considered unusual. Well, event is considered unusual if the probability of that event happening is smaller than 5%. So remember that. So let's look at this. Event. Rolling a 3. Rolling a 3. So the probability of rolling a 3. Um, give me one second. Why is it always tracking me? Okay. Probability of rolling a 3 is 1 out of. 8. Why? Because there is one face that has 3 on it, and the total number of faces on this dice is 8, right? So 1 out of 8, and I'm going to have to multiply this by, multiply this by, the probability of landing on yellow. Well, there are 4 faces on this start, so probability of landing on yellow is 1 out of 4. So if I multiply those two, I will get 1 out of 32. So that's the probability, but they probably want decimal. So let me go ahead and divide. 1 divided by 32 is 0 0.03. That is equal to 0 0.03125. Now they want us to round to three decimal places. So I will just type this much in here. Now look, this is less than 5%. Therefore, this is an unusual event. No. Oh, hold on. Is this considered unusual? Yes, because the probability is of 0 0.05 or less. Yes, it's less than 5%. Therefore, this is considered unusual.